Meanwhile, a desperate effort to divert your attention. Speaker Nancy Pelosi pulling a political stunt today, trying to urge the president to delay the State of the Union address until the government shutdown ends, saying that the government couldn't afford the security costs. However, Homeland Security Secretary Kristen Nielsen tweeted, quote, uh, the Department of Homeland Security and the U.S. Secret Service are fully prepared to support and secure the State of the Union. We thank them for their service, for their mission, focus, dedication, and for all they do each day to secure our homeland. Well, nice try, Nancy Pelosi. This, as new video emerged of the Democrats' Puerto Rican vacation last weekend. As you can see there, they're in Puerto Rico. They're at a resort, having drinks, putting on suntan lotion on each other, poolside parties. Oh, and meeting all the lobbyists, political action committee. This is 10 days into this new Congress. 10 days, they're on vacation, bought and paid for by people that want to influence them. Anyway, while the president was in the Oval Office wanting to negotiate an end to the shutdown. Joining us now with Reaction, senior advisor to the Trump 2020 campaign, the president's daughter-in-law, Laura Trump, is with us. How are you? How's the baby? Hi, good so good. You. Thank good? you. Yeah. Um, all right, so you see what Nancy Pelosi's doing. She never, we found out, she never called the Secret Service. She, she said it was about security. She made it all up. It was a political stunt. Of course. Well, the reality is she's very smart in a way because the Democrats do not want this president giving another State of the Union address. Sean, you remember last year, it was one of the greatest I have ever seen. And, and honestly, I thought one of my father-in-law's best speeches. Um, so he could get out there again and really turn things around. And I, I think they don't want to see that happen. So she has disinvited him to give the State of the Union. The good news is that the president can give it anywhere he wants. He doesn't have to give it there in front of Congress uh, at Capitol Hill. So it's up to him, really, where he wants to do it. So good try on her part, but I don't think it's going to go one over. One thing I know about the president, I think the country's learned about the president, uh, which I think is his strongest political um, weapon, is that he keeps promises, yep. he says what he means, means what he says, and I don't care how he gets the money, whether Congress eventually comes to the table and is at least willing to negotiate, or if he has to declare a national emergency or bring our defenses in, he's going to do it. He's going to get it done. Listen, they can play a game of chicken as long as they want, but it's going to be very hard to win against Donald Trump. He's been a negotiator his entire life. He fully understands what he's doing here. The reality is this wouldn't be so crazy, Sean, if the Democrats who were trying to stop this border wall from being built, trying to stop us from fixing our immigration system, hadn't wanted this very thing not too many years ago, just under a different president. Well, they They're supported the completely They sounded like your father-in-law. Of course. They sounded exactly like him. You go back and you watch some of these videos. It's crazy to see. And here we are today. And it's only because it's this president. The good news is that my father-in-law will not back down. He's fighting for the American people because he knows this is about more than a wall. It's about the future of our country. We cannot sustain illegal immigration in perpetuity. It will not work for our country. Well, we have 90 percent of heroin. We have an opioid epidemic that is literally killing yes. tens of thousands of people every year. Uh, we also have human trafficking. We also have people on the other side of the border. It's a perilous journey for them. Some die. Some are assaulted. Some are sexually assaulted. Uh, the statistics speak for themselves. Can you imagine Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer being unwilling to meet with angel moms and dads that lost their children. Yeah, it's to disgraceful. I, I actually met a lot of these parents last night, in fact, and I was so touched by hearing all of their stories and how much they support the president. And they all said, tell him to keep fighting. It is the most important thing he can do. We don't want other parents to have to go through what we went through. It's not right. And, Sean, it doesn't have to happen in this country. This is the United States of America. And we have to fix this problem. The president knows it. And you know what? Kudos to him. He's going to keep fighting for it. Let's talk about our top story. We've had two years of Trump, Russia collusion. What do we oh. now discover? <laughs> that everyone that signed on to that FISA warrant application knew that it was dubious at best, it was Hillary bought and paid for, it was Russian lies. Everyone that signed it was purposely, knowingly committing a fraud on the court. And Andrew Weissman, which is Robert Mueller's number two, he knew about this fraudulent document, and yet he's investigating Russia? And meanwhile, Hillary paid for Russian lies to basically 
influenced the 2016 there, there's election? There's your Russian collusion right with there. the Hillary Clinton campaign, not with the Trump campaign. And, Sean, we have all, from day one, said there has never been any Russian collusion. The president has said it. Jared has said it. I've said it many times. Anybody in our family, anyone involved with the campaign will tell you that is completely ludicrous. We were so proud because we were like the little engine that could. We had the American people behind us. We didn't need Russia. We didn't need anyone else. Um, we've known it's crazy from day one. I always maintain that the truth will come out, that the right thing will happen. Finally, we're seeing it come to light here. All right, Laura Trump, good to see you. Congrats on the baby. I saw the pictures. Thank getting big. you. Yeah, right. Thanks.